Hi and welcome to Velo GPS. In this quick start guide we're going to show you how to use the round trip routing function on the Garmin Edge 820. But before we show you how to use it there's just a couple of quick settings that you need to make on the 820. So if we select the icon in the bottom left and then we need to select settings and then activity profiles and we choose the profile which you wish to adjust and then if we just scroll down we have navigation as an option, except we've hit the wrong part of the screen, so navigation. And then within navigation we have routing options, and here we can choose how the routing options are set up. So we can choose the routing mode, from which there's a variety of options, such as tour cycling, mountain biking, road cycling. So I think we have road cycling already selected. You then have calculation method, which can minimise distance, minimise time, or minimise uh, the ascent. You can lock onto the road, you can uh, set recalculation to either be prompted, automatic or off. So if you stray from your course, the Edge 820 will invite you to choose whether you wish to recalculate if you have prompted selected, or it will do it automatically or you can have it turned off. And then we have uh, just a further option here for avoidance setup. So this has a variety of sliders that you can use if you, just by touching on them to turn on or off whether you wish to avoid major highways, toll roads, unpaved roads, narrow trails, etc. So we're just going to turn major highways back on. So once you're happy with the navigation settings that you have set up for your profile, we can scroll back to the main menu. And once we're there, we choose the navigation icon. And within navigation, we select courses. And then within courses, round trip courses. Now we can see here a round trip course that we set up earlier as part of a demonstration, but we're just going to amend that. So we've got a number of options here, so we can select the distance for the round trip course, where the start location is, and the start direction. So if we just adjust distance, and we're just going to change that to, I think we'll go for 15 miles. And then we select the tick icon. And then the start location, we've chosen Pancridge Street in Crondall. But we'll show you how you can adjust that. So you can choose your current location if you have GPS signal. You can use a map to pick a location, save locations. And then if we use search tools, you can use various things such as points of interest categories, such as shopping, fuel service stations, etc., etc. But we're going to select address to choose our start point. And the address is in the United Kingdom. And we're going to uh, enter a location. So we'll go for Odium in Hampshire. You'll forgive me, this isn't a QWERTY keyboard. So hopefully it's going to auto select. There we go, it's auto populated. So Odium Hampshire, we don't know a house number. So we'll just hit the tick icon at the bottom. And we know that there will be a high street in Odium. Again, it's auto populated that. So we've chosen the high street in Odium, and it's given us a number of uh, locations to choose, so we'll just go for number one, and it's now showing us that location on a map. So we can zoom to that location if we wish, and the location is where the little pin marker is located there, so that's the high street in Odium. So once we're happy with that, there we go, high street in Odium, we select use. So we've chosen 50 miles, starting from the High Street in Odium, and then you can choose Start Direction. So you can choose None, North, East, South, or West. So I think we'll choose to head from Odium. Let's choose to head West. So that's a route we go on some of our rides. And then once you've done that, you just hit the Search icon, and it's now going to calculate out three separate routes. So we're quickly going to fast forward whilst it calculates. Okay, so the 820 is now selected or uh, come up with three potential round trip routes, all starting from the High Street in Odium. So if we just scroll down the page, we can see those potential routes. So Route 1, 14.9 miles with 386 feet of elevation. Route 2, again, 14.9 with slightly more elevation. And then Route 3 is just over 13 miles and just under 500 feet of elevation. So if we click on those routes, we can view them 
on a map. So it's quickly going to overlay them onto our map. So we can see a circular round trip route there, starting from Odium and coming back. And then if we just touch on the little elevation icon in the bottom left here, it will show us an elevation profile for route number one. So there we see it. Okay, and if we click back onto the map, go back to the map, and then we can scroll between routes one, two, and three. So we've got route one at 14.9 miles. If we click on the little arrow at the side here, we've now gone to route two, again at 14.9 miles with a little bit more elevation. And again, we can zoom in on the route if we wish. And similarly, by selecting the elevation icon on the bottom left, we can have a look at the profile of that. So a little bit more climbing in the middle and then finishing with a bit of a downhill run there. And then again, we can scroll across and we can do it from the elevation page to route three. So that's the profile over route three. And if we click on the map icon there, we can look at the course profile. So whichever of those routes we're happy with, if we choose to route Rude, rather, ride route number three. We select the ride option. And then if we want to start riding that route, all we do is select start. And we've got the GPS turned off at the moment. OK, so now we've shown you how to create a round trip route. Check out the 820 in action navigating a course by clicking on the following link.